Greetings, pilgrims. Welcome to another episode of the Polygon Pilgrimage. And today is the moment you've all been waiting for. Today is the official beginning of the Ultimate Battle Royale series. So, let's go ahead and jump right in. And I wanted to make a couple of announcements up front. We will be going through every single step in this process, okay? So a lot of it is we got to set things up. We got to tweak things just right. So make sure that you follow every step. Do not skip around in the video. Don't skip ahead because you might miss something. Don't forget, if you need help, there are the poly tips that you'll see on the screen. Here's one now. Thank you very much. So these will pop up and will show you at critical steps what you should be typing in or what to remember to do. You know, remember a layer, remember a tag, something like that. And also, don't forget, if you need more help, you can also go to the Discord, join the Discord, join our growing and amazing community, and post in the help channel. Post, make sure that you've tried everything else first, and then post what you're seeing, what's happening or not happening, and screenshots and pictures if you can, and be clear and be exact as to what you're seeing. That will help us really help you out. Okay, so with that said, let's go ahead and jump in, and what we need to do first is we need to get organized and we need to get all on the same page. So. We're going to be using a particular version of Unity, and from there, we will put this into a Git repo, and we'll have this available for everybody. So you'll be able to download the project as we go along, and it will keep our work safe and secure. That's very important. So, step one is we need to get a copy of Unity Hub. If you don't have that already, here's what it looks like. If I click this, it'll come up. Here's Unity Hub. If you don't have Unity Hub already installed, here's a little insert to show you that this is the website to where you download Unity Hub. You're gonna to go to this URL here, and then right here, you're gonna click on this to download Unity Hub and install it, all right? So, back to Unity Hub here. Once you have that installed, you're gonna to need to create, uh, you're gonna to need to first install the correct version. So we're, we are gonna be version locked. You can see all of my projects here, including some spoilers, are going to be 2019.4.3f1. That's the version that I will be using. That is the official version of the UBR, the Ultimate Battle Royale. And if we vary from that, I can't guarantee you're gonna get the exact same results. So try to stick to as close to this version as possible. Meaning if you use a 2018 version, I, I can't really support it. If you're gonna use 2020, you're moving ahead of me. We will migrate the project forward as time goes on, as issues occur and as we need to, but we're gonna to try to stick with this, okay? so. Once you have Unity Hub open, click over here on Installs, and this will show you all the different versions of Unity that you have installed on your computer. Obviously for me, I just have the one because that's the version I've chosen to use, but if you don't see this here, if you don't see 2019.4.3f1, and you'll see this word LTS, this means long, yeah, there it is, long term support. So this means that Unity has decided this is the version or branch that we are gonna support for a long time. So if you go back to 2018 or 2015, whatever the number might be, they, they're not supporting it actively. This is actively under development and being supported every day. They're changing things, fixing problems. So this is what we wanna to stick to, okay? So if you don't see this version, you're gonna to have to add a version. So let's click that. This will pop up and it shows you, here's the latest official releases. Now you'll notice 2019.4, but this is not the same version I have. This would be okay too if you want to install this version here. This 4.9 F1 is the current one as of this recording. But if you want to try to get exact, you can also go to the download archive. So here's another pop in to show you. This is what the website looks like. This is the URL right here to go to the download archive. And we're going to have to click here on 2019 versions and scroll down, scroll down. And there it is. Okay. So this is another way that you can get to this or we can come back here and we can just choose that and select whatever version. So I'm gonna to pretend to install this version here. I'm not gonna let it finish or maybe I will, but you just click next and then I'm not gonna do it right now. It'll pop up like this. You'll be, have a little box here like this. You'll see a line going across. It'll take quite some time. Go ahead and let it finish. Don't worry about it. take time. You know, go watch a movie if you need to, go get, grab a drink, whatever. Just let it finish. Let it get all the way to the end and installed. And once you see this, you're good to go. And obviously install based upon what you have. If you're doing Windows like I'm doing, Windows version. If you're doing Mac, do the Mac version, of course. Okay, with that all complete, let's go to our projects, and we're gonna officially create the new project, okay? So we're gonna say new, 
and it's going to pop up here and we're going to just going to stick with a standard 3d project for now we may upgrade later we may change things over to urp or to hdrp but that's extra complexity that we don't need right now so let's just stick with 3d project i'm going to name my project ultimate battle royale tutorial series official okay uh, maybe just tutorial series that's fine so there you go so we have that as the name of our project and here location where do you want to save it to i'm going to click and i'm going to choose i'm going to go to my c drive i have a pro folder here called unity projects and click select folder so i had to obscure that a little bit to protect some of my clients um, so here we have c unity project so just a folder that i put all of my unity projects in okay and that's it i'm just going to go ahead and click create and now you'll see Unity will start to load and it's going to take some time. So we're going to skip ahead to when it's finished. So I'll see you in a moment. All right, so here we are. The project is finished loading and I've done nothing with this except click the button like you saw. And like I said, we're skipping ahead. So here we are. So this is what comes up when you see your new project. So just a quick few notes about how I generally set up my projects. I usually keep the default uh, layout here because it's easier for you guys to follow me along if you have the default layout. Obviously, if we select something, we see some uh, inspector values here. I do try to crunch that a little bit, and I try to crunch this down a little bit so I can see more happening. A good idea while we're testing and building is to keep the game view separate from over here. I don't know why animator came up, but we can close that tab just like that. Uh, so this way, you can have the two things going, and I can have an object, say, if I make it a cube. This is just for example's sake. Don't worry about it. So if this is our character, right, and we're doing stuff, we can still have access to the scene view here to zoom in and look around and see what's happening. And we don't have to worry about, uh, you know, if this was fully across, I, I can't do that now. So if you just click and drag this tab, you'll see it's telling you, how do you want to lay out the windows? So I put it like this, two side-by-side -side windows, okay? Now you can move tabs around like you just saw, and you can do uh, maximize so the game view has two different things you can maximize on play meaning only when I hit the play button like this will the screen be maximized sort of you can still see around the edges a little bit right or while you're working on you can actually maximize it itself so if I right click and choose maximize it maximizes like this so if this happens to you and you're not in play mode you're thinking oh no what happened just right click up here where it says game and unclick maximize again there you go so now we can move things around and I'm going to introduce you some tools where we're going to add additional things in. You can also duplicate these and you can move these around sometimes having like the project is good and then I want to separate this and move my console out and say I want my console to be over here and be able to see my access. So you can move things around is my point. So don't worry about if it doesn't look exactly like. You can always click and drag and move things around. And I believe there's also a way to say to reset all the windows. You can do, yeah, window, layouts, default. And that will just put everything back to the way it normally is, okay? So you can always reset it, don't worry about it. You know, you're not gonna, not gonna have any problems here. So I'll select this cube and delete it for now. So we've done nothing, we've done absolutely nothing, okay? Now, the last little step for today's video is that we are gonna be getting organized within our project. Because the last thing you want is you're doing all this stuff and you just keep right clicking, creating things in your assets and it gets all kinds of messy. That's not how I work. You can ask any of my clients, any of my friends, anybody in the discord. Number one step is you must be organized, name things correctly, put them in the right place. Okay. So to help you out with that, because I know there's a lot of assets we're going to be building that you may have never experienced before and that's okay but we're gonna stick, stick to getting organized. So in the download link in the description for this video, you will find a zip file that is a collection of folders. So you will need something like WinZip or WinRAR to open up this zip file, okay? And this is gonna give you a folder structure like this. And you will see it says folder descriptions will be the name of it. And there's all these folders here, animation, audio, editor. We're gonna go through all these together. In each folder, there's gonna be a readme file partially so that the Git will pick it up later on and also partially to help you guys out. And this readme file will be in each folder and it will give you a description. So here, if I open up this one, this is a description of, here it says, this is for the Battle Royale. And this will tell you in this folder, here's where you're gonna put scene files. And it will explain a little description of what a scene file is, what kind of things you do with it, that sort of thing. So obviously we all know what a scene file is. Scene files are kind of like our levels. 
or you're gonna have a scene that is like your little testing area, you know, so that kind of thing. But there'll be this readme file in each of these folders to help you out so that you can sort of experience what, what should go in there. If you're not sure what to put in prefabs, for example, it'll explain. Why is there an editor folder? It'll explain. So I'll have a text file to explain that to you. So very quickly, we're going to go through these and just kind of show you this is my standard project setup. And that you don't have to follow this exactly, but just know that if you've pulled down the Git repo, this is the, this is the folder structure we're going to be working with. All right. So in animation, we don't put anything directly in the animation folder, but there are several subfolders here. And this is just a collection of all the animation stuff. Animation clips. These are going to be the animations that we bring in from like a character. They come off of the raw FBX files. All right. So those clips are going to go in here. The controllers are used to tell Unity what animation to play at what time. So we'll experience those. The raw FBX will be FBX files you import. It's usually the model with the skeleton structure, with the rig, with an animation. And we'll go over the import settings and all that. No worries. Unity animations are animations we make entirely inside of Unity. If you click on the cube, you click animate, you move it, you record that animation. The cube moves back and forth now. That animation is a Unity animation. Sounds good? Now, back up. In audio, obviously we're going to have sound effects, we're going to have music. If you go under sound effects, there are subfolders for each type of sound effect, just to keep things organized. Again, if it's a UI sound effect, when you click a button, a little that you hear, that's going to go in there. If it's a gun firing, it's going to go under weapons, etc. Okay? And we'll expand these as we go on. If you look currently under weapons, there's not a list of the weapons yet. They haven't been finalized. That's okay. We'll get there. So, obviously then under music would be music. Under editor, editors where we're going to put some scripts, and I know it's a little confusing, I'll try to explain when we get there, but these are scripts that either extend the editor interface or they need to be in the editor to do some kind of functionality. So don't worry about it as yet, but just know that sometimes I will say we're going to put a script in that folder. Materials. So under materials we have all the subfolders here, the characters, everything. You'll notice there's also the textures folder in this folder, and if I go into textures, you'll notice all the same folders, right? Characters, effects, environment, etc. The reason being, materials are made up of textures. So that's why I put the textures folder under materials. So the textures, these are all the textures for the characters, but if I go up a folder, materials, these are all the materials for the characters, okay? So it's a little confusing because textures has all these same folders, but it's underneath materials, but this is the best structure that I've found. It helps me keep it the most organized. All right, meshes. This is where we're going to put all of our 3D models. You notice I've listed everything, including UI, because sometimes we will have maybe a model that we need for UI, but if we don't use it, that's fine. It's empty. But again, this is where all the models go. So all the actual models we're going to make. I'm going to use Maya, but the steps are transferable to any other piece of software. And we'll go over all of that together. Prefabs. Prefabs, again, are a collection of things that we make inside of Unity. We're going to put things together. I put a cube in the scene. I attach a light, whatever. You can save that all in one little bundle called a prefab, kind of like a cookie cutter. Now, every time I put that down, I make a copy of that thing. You've probably seen this before in my other videos, but just for the new folks, that's what this is. Next up is resources. Resources is a specific folder, again, like the editor folder, where we're going to put just a few things in this over time. Mostly, it's going to be prefabs. Because of the way that we can instantiate objects at runtime, they need to be in the resources folder to call them by name or to call them by some sort of uh, pathing. So don't worry about it for now, but just know that we will use this a little bit later down. Scripts, obviously all of the coding we're going to do is going to go under here. Third party, now this is an important folder. This folder will be marked as ignore for our git repo. And that means nothing in this folder is going to go forward to you guys, okay? I'm going to put specific things in this folder that you're going to have to download from uh, the asset store or something on your own and put them in here. And don't worry, there'll be steps on how to do that. The reason being that it creates a huge Git repo and we want to try and reduce the size of that. So anything that is not specific to this, anything that comes from the asset store specifically, is going to go in this third party because you can access that on your own and I don't have to stuff it in the Git repo and just bloat it. That keeps the size down, it keeps it it's less time for it to come to you download wise and also it means that we don't have to go into the git large file store storage and we don't have to go to another solution so just know that things in this third party folder are going to only be for the most part things that come from the asset store but there will be explicit instructions on how to download those things and put them in this folder okay 
So that's it for the folder descriptions. So it's a lot of talking, but here's all the things that we're going to put in here now. The cool part is we have to make all of these inside of Unity, but that's tedious, right? I can right click, create a folder, and then I got to name the folder. Well, no, that's boring and it takes too much time. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to select all of these. And from my other screen here, you might have to do it on the same screen. I'm going to click and drag and just drop them all into Unity. And boop, 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 there's all my folders. So everything we just talked about is now all set up inside of Unity. So I have to expand all these. You can see all of our folders here. There's our materials, there's our textures. Everything is all set up exactly the way that I set up a project, and we are ready to rock. So that's going to be all for this episode. I know we didn't do anything fancy this episode, but these are core fundamental steps that must be followed. And like I said, we're doing this from the beginning. So every single step, you guys will follow me on this journey, and we're going to make an awesome game together. So next time, we're going to get started with importing a few more things, getting things all set up, and we will import and set up Photon Bolt, which is going to be our asset of choice for our multiplayer stuff. So we're going to get that set up next time. And then from there, we're going to start creating things, setting things up, creating our scene, getting all of it in here and ready to go. So thank you so much for joining me for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Again, if you do need help, please make sure to ask on the Discord in the help channel. Follow all the steps exactly. It will be time marked for you. Don't forget to look in the description of the video for all the links that you might need. And as always, guys, keep practicing, get better, and I'll see you next time as the pilgrimage continues.